Hi guys, um, it's Michelle here. Welcome to a quick Michelle Bites, or Michelle's Bites, <laughs> one way or another. Um, I just thought I'd come in, it's a Saturday afternoon, so this will be posted up ready in time for your Monday morning. Uh, this whole past week I have been sick and it's a really good reminder of exactly the Fit Mama, um, you know, our model, exactly what I created and um, kicked in for me personally this week. So the Fit Mama method is really that I want to make sure that we cover three distinct areas, um, one of them being fitness and exercise, which is traditional with a personal trainer, second element being what I regard as health, which is um, anything to do with food and nutrition, food planning, um, understanding nutrition um, in the postpartum phase and also understanding food and nutrition as a new family. How do we do this as a family? Um, and then the third element is what I regard as vitality. Now vitality covers a massive amount. It covers goal setting that is value driven, smart based goals, creating habits, um, it also looks at return to work strategies. So somebody, a mother who has been on maternity leave and who is returning back into the workplace, um, you know, how, what does she do? How does she do this? How does she maintain her fitness and her, and her health? Um, and we also look at anything on the spectrum between baby blues to postpartum depression. Now, we do like touch on that at the moment because we are still building our advisory board, which will have um, psychotherapists and uh, will have postpartum depression specialists, people who are medically qualified, which a personal trainer such as myself is not. OK, so we've still got that area to build up. Um, but I'll tell you what's really interesting this past week is that this method that I created, which I felt was really important for a woman, um, it's not just to have the fitness and to know how, how to do exercising and not just to have a food, food planner, but this third element of when do you know when to take self-care? What does self-care look like for you as a, an individual? And um, I had to basically um, implement that myself this past week. I woke up on Monday morning with um, a head cold that was fever driven. So it's a little bit heavier than just a head cold this time. Um, my son was on, it still is, on spring break, which is holiday season, and obviously I've got a lot of work to do, so this past week has been for me an absolute and utter nightmare. Very, very little exercising done. I've kept up walking um, for health, so when you get to that point in your, um, your physical side where your body just cannot cope with anything, you have to move from the fitness and sports zone, you have to move into the health zone, which is literally keep an active um, movement and um, walking is a really good uh, uh, example of that so that's pretty much what I could only cope with this week I couldn't do, do very much else um, and it's a real lesson for everyone just to say actually when that happens what do you do the first thing is and the top tips would be you must listen to your own body if your body is telling you that it cannot work out don't push through. Um, I know that in the past I've had some clients who've said, oh, you know, it's good to sweat it out. Well, sometimes, yeah, that is the case. Um, most of the time that is not. It's your body is reacting to something. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily run down and that you're, you know, oh, I thought I was really fit and healthy. You are really fit and healthy. Um, sometimes infections, when they hit you, they just hit you. They're super strong and there's nothing that you can do about it to fight it in that moment in time. You just have to treat it. And then once you've recovered, then you start to um, come back into, into your fitness, um, which takes me to the next part. What happens during the, the illness? During the illness, it's a case of um, usually rest, uh, lots of sleep, let your body take over and recover itself and to, to medicate itself, Medis medicine that's uh, appropriate to whatever you have, and also replenishing anything that you're losing. So if you have a vomiting bug, for example, um, you do need to have these um, salts back into your body to replenish whatever it is that you've lost. Now, um, all of that uh, is really down to very, very basic food and nutrition. You're down to, for me, I'm down to plain foods, plain pasta, plain toast, rice, um, sometimes a banana, um, and then I would also be keeping my fluids extremely light. It's water, plain water. Um, sometimes I have it uh, hot water with a little bit of honey in it just to give me a bit of um, uh, sweetness to it. Aside from that, I keep everything really plain and boring to get me through that phase. 
And on the recovery bit, which I'm feeling much better today, you keep your fitness super low because your body doesn't have a ton of energy built up. So you're not going to go straight out and go, you know what, I feel really good. I'm going to go to that spin class after all. Uh uh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Take it easy, up your walking or do something in the house that's really low impact, throw in a couple of bar sessions or, you know, just take it super easy just to get you back into play. Um, so that was my week this week. Um, like I said, a bit of a disaster because I wasn't really, who, who expects to be ill? Nobody, nobody schedules it in their diary to be ill. And the speak for me, that was pretty much it. So it was a really, really tough week. Um, I did hit the library yesterday, um, and one of the books that I bought, this is the third time I've taken this book out. I love it, so I'm actually going to buy it. Um, it's called The Body Book, and it's by Cameron Diaz, um, who is uh, most famous for her acting. And um, I got this by pure accident, I guess, probably about four or five months ago, and I picked it up, and I thought... She's really healthy and fit, um, or she gives that impression. I wonder what she's done with this book. Um, and she seems to have actually written it. It doesn't seem to have been... Um, yeah, she did. She collaborated with Sandra Bark, who is a New York Times bestselling author. So she did collaborate. Um, but I don't think the collaboration um, uh was, was anything more than just the actual writing part, but I think everything that Cameron wanted in the book has been put in the book. That makes more sense if you've been reading it. So basically what this is um, talks about, uh, the, the actual contents are fantastic. She talks about part one, nutrition, part two, fitness, and part three, mind. And the reason why I picked it up was because these are the three parts to the Fit Mama um, model. This is the Fit Mama method, um, which by the way I created years ago, but I'm absolutely thrilled that a woman who incidentally isn't a mum, just to, to at that point, but a female has um, done the same thing. She has recognised actually there's more to keeping fit than just uh, a workout and, and keeping your food in check. There's a lot to do with mind. So her, what she's written in this book is pretty much exactly what Fit Mama method is. And um, I read, like I said, this is the third time I've taken it out. I love it. I love it. I just love the book. It's super basic and very, very easy. It's not technically, um, uh, you know, something that you would be like, oh, I don't know about that. I'll need to read a bit more. This is really simple book to understand. Um, it talks about getting to know your muscles, how your muscles work. Um, it talks bone by bone, it gives you your skeletal system and it goes through each bone and what they do and muscles that are attached to each one. It talks about oxygen, um, ways to think about movement, uh, it talks about fat, you know, when we're talking about um, nutrition, so fat is uh, essential. And then the mind part of it is um, the state of being connected, oh, finding your inner athlete, knowledge into action. Just love it, love it really really good book i'm glad i picked it up and i got it the third time out basically so that i can dip back in and out just to reread some chapters so highly recommend this book um, if you've got it she has done a second one i picked up the second one once and i read that and i just didn't feel as connected to the second book that she wrote so um i can't really give a recommendation on that but certainly this first one that she's done superb so i would highly recommend it uh, the next week ahead, I'm concentrating on B2B, so that means I'm looking at our corporate connections and trying to see if I can get Fit Mama at uh, an HR level in your workplace. So if that's something that you're interested in and you work for a large corporate and you look at the maternity package and you think, I think we could do better, then get in touch because that's something that I would absolutely love to get involved with. Um, I think it's key and important for employees, female employees, to have um, options when she is on maternity leave and certainly when she returns back into the workplace. And that's about it. What are you up to this week? I am feeling so much better that I cannot wait for this coming week to come so that I can actually get out and about and enjoy the fresh air and enjoy the sun and just feel a little bit more healthy. That really knocks me a little bit being sick. Um, so what are you doing? Let me know. And if there's anything that you need, then please do get in touch. Bye.